Hello guys, in this tutorial we will learn how you can transition issues in any Jira project. So as we understood in previous um, tutorials that any Jira project is a combination of issues. An issue can be a story, epic, or um, task or subtask. And there is an underlying workflow that these issues follow from initiation to completion. Now this is all this is the basic of any project in Jira now in order to progress or in order to make your project complete or done you need to complete this smaller piece of task which are known as issues in Jira from start to finish and there might be multiple people involved within the project so you might be transitioning some bit uh, or some issues from one state to another and then next person person would be you know like picking that issue and moving it further to the next team for example in software development life cycle you have multiple phases so first you can have a design phase wherein the architect designs the solution and then he passes on that solution to the developers and then they the developers code the piece um, code the solution and once the coding is done they have done their in unit testing they deploy it for the testers to test once the testers um, do the testing they are fine with that um, piece of code then it moves to the release phase so this is a basic you know like software development lifecycle phases in which there are multiple people involved or different teams involved to transition a particular story or issue from one state to next state so from initiation to completion similarly in Jira project you have similar workflow to transition issues from start to finish and the workflow is highly customizable so depending on what your project has set up you can customize that workflow so to transition to see how you can transition issues in Jira it's pretty simple and straightforward you can transition issues from the board or directly open the issue and transition the issue from one state to another state I'll show you how you can transition issues in any project so to transition issues select the board for the project that you want to work on so for example you're working on MOP project click on um, MOP board and it will open the MOP board right um, and then you can um, see the active sprint and it will list the columns that are configured in your board to transition is an issue you just need to drag and drop the task or issue type from one column to another okay so for example I'm moving MOP 7 which is subtask from um, to do to in progress now if I click on MOP 7 you'll see the status has been updated to in progress all right now if I'm done with this particular task and I move it to done then you can see that the status has been moved to done the status has been changed to done so that's one way of transitioning an issue from um, start to finish and it's not necessary that you will be completely owning a task from start to finish so it depends you know like if it is uh, a task which is completely assigned to you and you can um, transition it from start to finish then you can do it but if it is a collective responsibility within the team then you will transition from one state to another and the next person will transition from next state to the um, another state um, so that's the one way of doing it another way of transitioning an issue is you can directly open the issue uh, and then go to the issue and then here at the top you see um, the workflow um, transition available so to do in progress and done so at the moment the task or the story is in to do if you have started in uh, working on this story you can directly click on in progress and the status will change to in progress and it will uh, on the board this story will be moved to the um, in progress column all right if you want to view the workflow that this particular um, issue type is following just click on this viewer workflow and you will be able to see 
the workflow that is being configured for this issue type so you can see uh, it's to do done and in progress there's a simplified workflow that is being followed by this issue type so this is um, pretty much about uh, how you can transition issues in Jira and a bit of introduction about the transitioning of issues in Jira. Thank you.